Hey, what's going on? Ryan here with Intersection Records. Wishing Getty Lee a happy 70th birthday. Gary Lee Weinrib was born on July 29th, 1953 in Ontario, Canada. His parents uh, were um, Holocaust survivors from, from Poland. Uh, they actually met in, uh, in a concentration camp, uh, went to Auschwitz and, and Dachau and survived that, moved to Canada, and Getty was born again in 53. Uh, his father died uh, at a young age, leaving his mother to raise the family alone. <clears throat> she worked hard. And Getty um, you know, joins uh, with Alex Lifeston in 1968 when he's 15 years old and really turns his basement into a studio, decides to drop out of school. His mother's devastated with this because she wants him to be successful. The father's passed away and he dedicates himself to, to being successful. And of course, he, he becomes a, one of the most famous rock stars and bass players in music history. I'll just do a, a little brief history. Um, you know, again, working with Alex Lifeston uh, as a childhood bandmate at 15, you know, John Rutsey ends up joining in on bass. <clears throat> you know, they're playing in the Ontario uh, and Toronto area, opening up for bands like the New York Dolls when they pass through town, ultimately traveling into Detroit, Rock City, and, um, you know, p playing shows, opening up for Kiss. Um, and other bands that pass through town. And ultimately, they do their first album in 1974, their debut, Rush, uh, featuring, um, you know, again, Rutsey on drums, Working Man, Finding My Way, In the Mood, to name a few classics off that song, off that album, excuse me. Um, health problems force Rutsey to retire from Rush, and they audition drummers. And finally, uh, Neil Peart shows up in his Pinto with a huge drum kit that barely fits in the vehicle and they hear him and their jaw drops. You know, Getty is inspired by progressive bass players like John Squire from Yes, uh, song Perpetual Change, bass players like Jack Bruce uh, from Cream, and of course Led Zeppelin, you know, their third record, um, our second record, Fly By Night, really pushes into that proggy area, followed by Caress of Steel, even more proggy. And then really their breakthrough album is 1976, is 2112. Um, you know, and, and, and then down through Farewell of the Kings and Hemispheres and Permanent Waves, of course, uh, famously, um, you know, Tom Sawyer off the Moving Pictures record. You know, he starts off playing a Rickenbacker bass. Um, in the 80s, he kind of gets into more jazzy tone bass bass. But from counterparts on in 94, he plays a, a Fender P bass. You know, and again, uh, being a lead singer and bass player and keyboard player in this band, he, he really kind of is an icon, um, you know, from a, from a music musical standpoint as far as the bass playing. He has that high falsetto voice. Um, he's a huge baseball nut and has a basically a museum of baseball ar artifacts in his home. And, you know, just just a, a great, uh, you know, a, a great musician and a seemingly great guy with his best friend, Alex Lifeston. You know, there's been some talk about Rush getting back together, which we'd all love to see that. You know, Neil Peart dies I guess in 2020, and uh, you know it devastates everybody that loves that band. Um, you know, um, do you get rushed back together? I don't know. I, I think something's going to happen in 2024. I really believe that. While those gentlemen are still young enough to uh, to to do it and do it well. Happy birthday, Ged! Uh, again, Gary Lee. His mother would say, would say. Getty and his friends heard Getty in that with her Polish accent. Um, anyway, you certainly have made your father proud. You certainly made your mother proud with your hard work and diligence to your craft and really doing um, the world a favor uh, by being just one of the seminal 
artists of your time and, and, and all those great Rush albums. That's my story. Happy birthday, Getty. Peace out. See you later.